in this video we will see how to make your application to support some multiple languages uh, here i will use the data binding i already, already added in the build griddle we will go to the xml file we will add the layout as a main parent uh, because this is required for the uh, data binding just will add those lines okay now we made the layout as a main parent uh, now uh, how i will create this one will take one spinner uh, in the spinner will add all the the languages which i am going to support for the applications then will display the those languages names in one text view and now i will take one linear layout we'll add one spinner Okay, now we'll take one text view. Okay, for this text, I will uh, I will take the text from the string file because we we need to add the different uh, strings file for the, for the different languages. Now I will tell uh, that also how to add the different strings files as per the languages. I will give the own ID for the spinner. Okay, now we'll see how to add the uh, difference file. Just right click on the string file. Just click on the transit editor. Uh, you can see there is a top at the global icon you need to click on that just you need to add the uh, language which you are going to add now i will add the german german Okay. Uh, now you can see that lang uh, that uh, uh, string file is added in the German string file. You can see uh, the, in my string file, I have only one string key that's application name. Uh, uh, that application name automatically automatically that will uh, display into the German file. Now I will add one more that's a Hindi. Okay. Now we'll close this one. transcript editor. Now I added the uh, three strings files. One is for German, one is for Hindi, and one is for the English. Okay, for this one, we'll change the application uh, name as a German language because uh, to while after changing the languages to validate the, uh, it is actually changed uh, or not. Okay, now I have added the layout in the XML file. Now we will add the data binding into the uh, Kotlin file. We will initialize the data binding. Activity language binding. Data binding utils. dot set content view for this one we need to pass the parameter first activity and your layout file uh, activity language is the layout file we will remove this ok now we will take one empty array list into those array list I will add the different languages I will name it as a language list List type is a string. First, I will add the select in the spinner. Next, I will add English.
ஜெர்மன் ஹிந்தி ஓகே நவ் வி ஆர் கிரியேட்டட் த லிஸ்ட் வாட் வில் டூ வில் கிரியேட் அ அரே அடாப்டர் வில் பாஸ் த லிஸ்ட் டு அரே அடாப்டர் தென் வில் அட்டாச் தட் அடாப்டர் டு த ஸ்பின்னர் the first parameter is the context we need to pass then the layout i will take the simple spinner drop down item then the i will pass the language list to the adapter now i will attach this adapter to the spinner to access this one i already um, uh, added the data binding so data binding dot spinner language dot adapter is equals to we need to pass the adapter okay now uh, we have created the list we have attached to the spinner adapter now we'll write on click listener for the spinner data binding spinner language dot on item selected listener object of on item adapter view dot on item selected listener now we need to import the two methods wow. on item selected and uh, if you didn't select anything so no need to write in the on nothing selected we'll remove that to do part okay before that whenever you are going to select the german language for that we'll write a one function because locally we are going to change the language so i will write the name uh, give the name for the uh, method set locally i will pass the parameter that as a language name uh, that's a type string okay now we'll uh, globally will declare one variable for the local where okay is equal to local okay i'm sorry colon yeah okay we'll declare a uh, later so we'll add the little bit a keyword for that local equals to local we'll pass the key what we are selecting from the spinner where we'll uh, create the object of like uh, for the resources we'll initialize the resources from the resources we'll uh, we'll take the display matrix now we will take the configuration for from the resources resources dot update configuration for this we need to pass the configuration and the display matrix both once after changing the languages we need to refresh the file first we'll uh, uh, write the co- uh, logic for the spinner selection we'll take the file we'll pass the position when it's the position 0 uh, for the position 0 i have taken the select so uh, we no need to do anything when i sel- when they uh, sel- when they selected that select one and the position one will pass the en because i am selecting the english you need to pass the code for the german will pass the de okay will pass the hi for the hindi 
one software uh, for whenever they will select any data from the spinner you we need to refresh the uh, activity again so we'll write var refresh intent class dot show start activity intent okay uh, now everything is ready we have created the spinner we have added the list okay now we'll run and we'll check Okay, now we'll change the language whenever i will select the english the always it's starting it will be the english german still it is not changing somewhere we have missed the code we'll check okay whenever we'll create the language local configuration it's correct it's fine okay now we need to add configure dot local a okay, so we need to pass the local play here yes okay uh, we'll run and we'll check okay we'll change the language when you select the german below the text view has to change to the german language hindi still it's not working okay hindi language german the strings file is correct it's a where we have missed okay var okay var refresh intent local request okay at the top language it's fine okay uh, in the start activity intent I, I i need to pass the refresh okay we'll run and see i was passing the intent over there instead of the refresh okay now we'll select the different language english english language will select the german it's a german language it's a hindi language thank you